What is up, George? I now, know. I'm done. I'm, I'm letting all you people know now, especially you happy people who fucking hate me anyway. December 31st, show's over. I'm done. I quit. I resign. If you think I'm kidding, keep fucking thinking I'm kidding. January 1st, 2014, I'm done. Kevin is now taking applications for another co host. All you need is green screen, patience, camera, and uh, patience. And I've lost patience, and I got everything else. Because I'm ready to choke one of you motherfuckers on Twitter. Oh my God. I, you know, but it, it also is just like, I'm done, you know, and, and I don't believe him because he gets aggravated at all the fucking dumb shit we got to deal with. But especially literally guys, I've been on the phone with George for half an hour trying to try to get his fucking lighting straight because he looks like a fucking strawberry on the and, camera. And here's the other thing. Which, and and mm -hmm. look, we've been harsh of Dana White and the things he does, doesn't do. Say, God bless you for dealing with MMA fans. Yeah. I will say this. And, and this is the one thing. I'm very honest about like, I don't know. And there'll be a lot of MMA fans out there that are watch the show and stuff. And there's, we know like, you know, people have been around for a long time, how passionate they are about all sports. Like the first people that watched the show were not just MMA fans by no means. No. You know what I mean? And they're the ones I, you guys know who you guys are, you know, Bobby, Eric, Don. I mean, all in, there's probably another 40 people that have been around for years. But they were passionate about football, about, you know, they like mixed martial arts, they like basketball, hockey, all kinds of things. And you still see them around in the message boards talking about other sports outside of MMA. There are no other and sports it's like, outside of MMA. Yeah, and it's like the thing that I don't like about MMA fans, the majority of MMA fans is that, and I know a lot of people like this, and I have a lot of friends that are like this, and they'll admit, admit it. They'll be like, you know what, I never really watched a lot of other sports, but they gravitated to MMA because... It wasn't too hard to understand. You right. know, it's not it didn't complicated. Have a lot of, there's not some it, four downs to do this or three downs to do that. There's no in the there's no three seconds in the key. There's no five guys on the court working as a team. I mean, shit. I mean, I I could these should be the the, the people who watch MMA should really love golf because that's about as right. simple as MMA. Yeah, and and it, it was it was it literally it's 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 it, it's it just freaked me out about how MMA fans have just. They don't know a lot of them. And, and guys, don't think that we're singling anybody out, but so many oh, of them I don't am. know Go about them. Go my fucking Twitter handle and look at that fucking jerk off I dealt with last night. It's retarded. I have blocked him. <laughs> and, and the thing is, is what I don't understand is just because I say something or Kevin says something about your favorite fighter doesn't mean we are discrediting him. Look, I don't like Rory McDonald. I don't like his attitude. Right. I don't like his fucking mm -hmm. personality. I don't like when he opens his mouth because it's like listening to a robot talk. That right, doesn't mean right. he's not a good fighter. And that's the problem with MMA fans. They cannot handle criticism and they listen to one thing and they run with it. Somebody commented on our last video. Yeah. How does Jake Ellenberger look now getting that knockout? I said I wanted him to get a knockout, but right. we People, both said but, Roy McDonald should and would win the fight. And lo and behold, he did because he's a better fighter, but he's a point yeah. fighter. And if you can't watch that last fight and say it's boring, you're out of your mind. And don't even bring right. up the fucking BJ Penn fight because that was like somebody's big brother picking on their little right. brother. Fucking yeah. Roy McDonald's I mean, Roy close McDonald's to 185 is... when he goes in the ring. BJ Penn is so small, he fights at 155. So don't fucking tell me how great of a fight that was because it wasn't. That was like a bully beating up a little kid. <laughs> I mean, it, it is. And, and the thing is, is that you get these trolls, you get these keyboard cowboys, and we've laughed about it, and, and a lot of our fans have laughed about it with us. And they, when it comes to other sports, and you get outside the, the MMA arena, they know absolutely nothing about other sports. And now they're experts. It's like, the bottom line is, if you're an analyst, you know, especially George and I being online analysts, we talk about different sports and stuff, nobody predi predicts everything right. No. And the moment... The moment when we get things right, we're not going to flip out and say, oh, we told you. We're basically like, okay, yeah, you know, that we figured it might go that way. If we get something wrong, the thing that just amazes me is how everybody tends to jump on that person's bandwagon. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and, and they're like, you don't know shit. I'm like, really? Well, if you take anybody, if you talk to any, any MMA fighter that predicts a fight, any, any other MMA analyst or Vegas is odds, they never get it right 100%. Because if they did, we all know that they would be fucking billionaires if you could call sports games and sports events correctly 100% of the time. So it's just funny that these, you know, you get these types of fans and they're just aggravating as fuck. Not so much that what they say. I think actually sometimes when George and I would get attacked on the boards at us, we would kind of laugh about it. But sometimes you just look at me like these these some of these people are so fucking stupid. Like, uh, is it for real? Is it really fucking? 
happening. Anyway, let's move the fuck on and, and fuck yes, that shit. And yes, we understand let's this is an MMA video. And for all you people who just got offended by anything we said, more than likely we're talking about you. So just turn right. away. Go somewhere the fuck else. I don't really give a shit if you watch a one, th one more second or one more video. You're not hurting my feelings. I don't <laughs> fucking care. But if you're going to get into an argument with me and you're only going to be able to see your side of it, then don't bother. Don't waste your time because right. I don't have time to get into arguments because it's it's just a waste. It's it's so stupid. The kid last night was just telling me how I hate Canada. No, like I told him, I love snow and I love hockey. There's nothing else in your goddamn con whatever. I, are you even a continent? I don't even know what you are. It, you're attached to us. You're a fucking backpack. They're part, they're part of North say? America, George. Huh? <laughs> They're part of Canada's part of North America. Right, they're our backpack. Right, we carry those motherfuckers <laughs> around, keep them safe, make sure no one attacks them while they fucking harbor George, terrorist George cells is, and everything else. George is starting. You're kind. George is as much as I love him. Is kind of validating what the guy said that he does not like Canada. <laughs> I mean, come on, Shorty. You're like you're not giving Canada any break right now. You're kind of strengthening dude's statement. But see, that's part of the joke, and the people who watch this it, understand. It is. And and the one thing you know, uh, before we actually uh, get onto the MMA video, and, and I'll yeah. if this will be my last rant, we actually mm -hmm. have fans across the pond who have written us and tweeted us and done things and asked us questions about American sports. And since watching our show, they've tried to follow other sports. That's right. what I like to see. I like to see people try to get out. Out of their little world and try to learn mm -hmm. about something else i mean we've yeah. tried to learn about mma and i think honestly we've come a long way in five years or six years or seven years oh or yeah because if you saw some it. of our sh shows back in 2007 it would they were fucking ridiculous yeah you know? i think that's why i take offense when people say you don't know shit oh, okay yeah it's it's it, it, it is it gets a little bit fucking old and the, and the thing is is too is people who don't know about this show this show is is driven on being untraditional. It's driven on not our expertise at any fucking thing. That's just the whole point. We're not ever claiming to be fucking experts. We're just basically giving our opinions like a couple people that would be sitting around in their family room talking a bunch of shit and talking trash. People think we constantly dislike people that we disrespect. But you know, we're being funny. If you've ever sat in the confinement of your home and talk with your your best friends about sporting events, do you think you're always being respectful of you every athlete be. you're talking about? Yeah, you have to be. You can't possibly <laughs> say anything negative about anybody. Because there's a fucking hidden big do, brother camera on hater. you all the time. Right. Bunch of you're a hater. So I, I, that's what this whole show is built on. So you've got to understand that and stuff like this. We have, if any athlete came in studio and we sat there and talked with any athlete, you know, you know, I, obviously people have seen me, you know, interview the Yamasaki brothers and other people. It's always about respect. But, you know, them, as long as anybody else, will make fun and poke at stuff. It's just human nature to do that every once in a while. It's not like you're saying, okay, this guy's a complete fucking dickhead or whatever. Like, with Chell Sonnen. Chell Sonnen was the perfect example. We got on Chell Sonnen. We did to Chell Sonnen what Chell Sonnen does to everybody else. But at the end of the day, you know that Chell Sonnen is just marketing himself. He's like, okay, I got to find a way to talk myself into a fight. He's great at fucking doing it and stuff. And he was fucking off with people and pushing up, you know, disrespecting people to some degree or talking some. trash. And then when you look at it, he was turning it off. And you realize that it was a sales pitch. And George hated that aspect of it. You're like, be a dick all the time. But you realize that Chell Sonnen was creating a sales pitch to get to market the fights that he was in and to make him a marketing machine where Dana White just said, hey, you know what? I got to put this guy in the fight because everybody wants to see him lose. Or all the people that all of a sudden had an interest in him and jumped on his bandwagon want to see him win. Right. Either way, he was a marketing machine and good for the sport. We did the same thing. And people who love Chell Sonnen hated us because we talked trash about him. Or people who hated Chell Sonnen wanted to watch us talk trash about him. So that's how it is. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you hate that person, that individual. It's just a way you're talking about it and to get everybody fucking going.